Hi, my name is Kate Bach. I'm a model and I am quarantining in Cleveland, Ohio. Today I'm going to make cauliflower pizza. It's something we've been eating a lot. It's healthy but also kind of a treat. It's kind of a fun one. So I have a cauliflower crust that I bought at Whole Foods. It's just this one, an easy pickup. I did not make it by myself. I have Mike's Hot Honey, which is a great additional ingredient here. I have sprouts, I have some toasted pine nuts, I have some grilled chicken, some basil, this is some chopped up cilantro and green onion, and then this is a homemade vegan pesto. You can also grab Gotham Greens pesto. First things first, set your oven to 425. It's preheating now, and here we go. I'm gonna start with the pesto, and I like to go kind of like a serious, layer because I like the flavor and I like to go all the way to the edges because who doesn't want to eat the whole thing. So when I put this in the oven, it only cooks for seven minutes, which is nice also because it's just so quick and easy. And when I bake it or put it in the oven, I only do the pesto and the chicken. Step one is done. I'm going to throw this in the oven now for seven minutes at 425. Hey, I just pulled this out of the oven and I just wanted to mention, I put it straight on the shelf in the oven. I don't put it on a baking sheet, so it makes the crust just crunchier when we eat it. So now I'm going to add pine nuts on top. I toast these on a, in a pan ahead of time, so they're a little bit browned. Sprouts, I really love the crunch and it kind of adds a good amount of greens. and green onion, making it healthier by the second, and then the honey. It's like a little bit spicy and it's so good. And I do a drizzle all the way on top. And then with a big knife, slice it up. And then I like to pop on just a few pieces of basil on top adds a good little flavor. This is super easy, healthy, a nice light lunch. I'm excited for you guys to try it at home and I hope you enjoy.